have not been able to make a new low. So I don't mind hitting bounces, and I'm, I'm going to be honest. I think right now you have to be very conservative as a short. I, I'm not saying that we can't short today. Normally this green line I like, but I think we're overdone. And, and personally, I would rather, as Zika suggested, see it come outside the hour and then hit a newer high. I think there's much better odds. And, and if I miss this trade going short here, then so be it. You know, I, I think the pressure right now is, is to <clears throat> for the aggressive shorts to be very conservative. Yeah, see a lot of a lot of aggressive traders out there trying to short in the middle, and I don't get that. Can't you know those traders probably miss what we already got? So, you know, look to hit the new highs if we get them. This will be a little double here, but I think we're going to break it. I think we've trapped a few traders. You know, this is a, a business of stolen range right now, correct? And we've had a big plunge already, so some of the range is already used. All right, anybody that's looking to hit bounces uh, today, a reminder. We are scalping short. We are not thinking plunge. We've already plunged. And if your trade goes against you, take your stop out and look to play at a new level. This 39 was a previous support level. So if anybody's entering back in here in, in this 39 to 38 region, <clears throat> a reminder, this, this is a very aggressive level still. And use your stop. If it doesn't work, just take your stop. And it's my ex expectation that scalps with the trend are easier than just trying to guess the bottom. And that being said, I still think we're going to get a bear flag before we're done. Uh, I just think there are too many shorts who think uh, this is just like shooting fish in a barrel down here. We've come a long way. And, and uh, Oase, he put out a great post, you know, trade location. He, he's bearish, but he has the same thinking we do. You know, his support zone, 34, 33. You know, we're a point or two under him, but same same idea. We're too low. So so that's why I said probably we'll come out with range trading first more than anything. And then we want to keep an eye on the NQ because that's been the leader. And this chart, you know, says it all to me. Take a look at the weekly chart, too. I'm, it's catching my eye here, this green line right here on the weekly chart. <clears throat> so you never know when you open at the low, and that's it for the day. Sometimes that happens, <clears throat> and, and then we'll bounce all day long. So I, you know, I said the odds for shorting 33s, 32s, not very good. So anybody wants to to hit it, um, be aware that my guess is we're going to, we're going to print in the 40s before we're we're done today. 
be very surprised if we don't 